chop and chop and keep on cutting everything and then you take the onions and you keep chopping up those onions okay and keep keep chopping those onions into slices until it's it's completely chopped and you make a salad and then you eat the salad right basically i don't even know what i'm talking about i don't know what i'm supposed to do asalamu alaikum everyone and this is a weird update for bitcoin and the market right now is in a choppy chop 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 positions right now and in my opinion you're going to actually be frustrated with what bitcoin is doing i don't even know why my internet is not loading the internet is being an idiot bitcoin is looking stupid once again now i'm here on the one hour time frame and i was talking about this potential you know um we, did we make a bear flag this looks like a bear flag to me actually and uh if this bear flag actually plays out from there to there this is gonna take you all the way down to nearly uh, 44,482. Uh, 44, but at the moment, it's not clear. I cannot even say that this bear flag is going to play out because uh, there could be other scenario playing out as well. If I just remove the bear flag right now, um, you can even make the fact that we are just coming down to make potentially a double bottom from here and then just continue back to the upside. Now, there, there are some things that I want to talk about and there are some some discoveries that I've been doing as well. And there are three types of market, basically. Um, I'm going to actually do some Google for the, for this kind of markets as well. And let's do uh, three types of market. And it's going to be trending. Uh, there's a ranging. And then there's a choppy kind of market, right? So choppy market definition. Well, basically let's just do choppy markets definition right now because bitcoin is basically in a choppy market and then you have a range bound market as well and then you have the trending market now trending market is quite easy you, you do know what a trending market is it's it's when you're moving to the upside now this is how the choppy markets look like okay choppy market overview and a choppy market is a market without any clear direction Okay, choppy markets can present themselves after an extended bull or bear market has been in place. So you can see that we did have an extended bull or bear market. So basically we had an extended bull run to $69,000. When identifying choppy markets, a trader must first locate the highest and uh, high and lowest low over many sessions. Now, fact is 80% of the time the market is choppy. Wow, that, that's actually quite new to me as well. So 80% of the time the market is choppy, the market spend the majority of the time in sideways patterns. If you think about it logically, uh, how can the market continuously trend up or down all the time? And that's very true. You cannot just keep moving up uh, for forever and you cannot keep moving down forever as well. So right now, if you actually zoom out of this thing, and I'm really afraid that this, this bear pattern doesn't play out. If it starts to play out, it's gonna, like go all the way down basically now anyways i don't think that's gonna happen and if i zoom out of things right now well bitcoin is in a choppy market right now let's dive in into the four hour time frame here and let's talk about the, the choppy market now look at this this has no any kind of direction it's like the buyers are fighting the sellers the sellers want to sell the buyers want to buy the sellers then want to sell the buyers want to buy and that's just how it's continuing now even on the discord guys join us on the discord people are sharing their their, their discoveries as well i did see this guy sharing this image right here and it's an exchange between bitfinex and ftx as well so huge buy wall at forty five thousand on bitfinex okay and a huge sell wall at 47,000 on FTX. Now, Bitfinex whales and FTX whales are fighting with each other, basically. And that seems to me very, very true. So in the process, when these two idiots are fighting one another, uh, you're going to get actually chopped. So you're going to be chopped and chopped and chopped into slices. Now, what do you do? What do you do in a choppy market, basically, is you don't even trade. You don't buy. You don't sell. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe you just get the dip and then you buy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to illustrate this one to you. So let's say this and this is a, is a price where the Bitcoin is moving. And then you go up like this. Sometimes you go down. Sometimes you're moving up. Sometimes you go down like this. And then you're just chopping and chopping. You are not in an uptrend. 
okay and you are not even in a downtrend there's no clear direction and that's what the choppy markets are meant for now even to say that bitcoin is going to go to forty four thousand dollars is hard to say that bitcoin is going to go up is also hard a little bit so um what what happens is that i'm going to tell you now that you're in a, in a choppy market like this and this and this wait for a clear breakout of things either you break to the upside and continue either you break to the downside and continue now to me basically it is still a buying opportunity for bitcoin okay it's still a buying opportunity now that people are getting so bearish every single minute every single minute passes by the people are getting bearish and keep in mind that this is still a trend line that has been respected so even if let's say bitcoin does come a little bit down it could go down all the way to yeah again 44,674 and that would be actually normal it will be normal let me tell you one thing actually that bear pennant doesn't make sense to me now that even uh, the bitcoin can actually go to 44,000 and that still wouldn't mean that it's it's bad i wouldn't say it's bad but I do see a bear pennant. It's a very, very clear bear, bear pennant right now. So I don't know if it's going to play out. The market is really, really choppy right now. I don't know who's winning, but I'm not doing anything right now. Okay. So this, and then you have that. That's a bear pennant. Very, very clear bear pennant right now. And then from there to there, that's going to take you nearly, nearly, nearly uh, 44,500. And if you do come to the 44,500, now let me zoom out of, of, of here and go to the four hour time frame as well. And let's talk about this one you can see that there is still a trend line that is has been intact look at that just like this do you see that so if you just dump to the 44,000, it's gonna be like a very quick week in my opinion and then go back up to maybe that 49,000 region and people are gonna be like oh Bitcoin is now bearish and from here you can see that there's one touch right there one touch right here another one right there another one right there so maybe go back here and then pick up because even in the history when you went down like this you went back up then you went down like that then you go back up you went down again then you went back up down again here you went back up so even here if you actually calculate everything right now down and then go back up so basically um it's choppy simple it's choppy and when it's choppy you don't do anything you just don't do anything you relax even as a trader i don't care if you're a professional the most professional trader in the world or not the choppy markets is gonna cut you if you try to act with a choppy market so basically it's not ideal to trade in a choppy market and uh, during these times you're actually gonna self-doubt yourself as a trader you're gonna think that oh you're not good at trading and all well that's just not true it's not true and if you think in, in in crypto you're going to win all the time pack your bags and go somewhere else do business somewhere else i would i would suggest you to use that money and go for a vacation and take your family for a vacation if you cannot have patience if you cannot actually handle your butt get kicked into cryptocurrencies with 20 percent drops and 30 percent drops it's not a big deal in here it's not a big deal in here this is not forex i would yeah i would re recommend you to go to forex if you need a small two percent drops and one percent drops so that's the best place for you no i mean sorry to be rude guys but but that's the truth man i need to be honest with you okay no one else is going to be honest with you any except me here and we handle our butt getting kicked by Bitcoin all the time. So, but we never act against it. We'll just let it do its own thing, let let it cool down a little bit, and then when it's okay, it's gonna go back up one day. I don't care if it's February. I'm gonna wait until February then. It's okay. It's investments by the end of the day. Now, there was one more market that I want to tell you, and there's a range bound market as well before I close this video. Now, this range bound market has a clear direction it's like consolidation basically so you you are trapped in a sideways movement for a nice good time and yes it's still known as a choppy market do you see that so choppy market and ranging markets are nearly the same so be careful about the choppy markets and to me on a higher time frame on a higher time frame let me let me dive into, into the daily um, Bitcoin just seems to make a falling wedge okay it's it's like it's making a falling wedge and on the weekly we talked about the stick sandwich candlestick pattern which hasn't been invalidated right now so let's go into the weekly and on the weekly time frame that stick sandwich is yet to be decided and uh 
this is gonna you know the the candle this weekly candlestick is going to close nearly nearly uh five days 19 hours so you cannot you cannot say anything what what you see as a red candle right now can all of a sudden flip to the upside and then just go and continue moving just like that so it's very very undecisive man it's really really undecisive so what i will say is whatever you bought don't sell hold it and uh, you know forget january potentially uh, maybe by the end of the january we could have january we could have some little bit of nice continuation to the upside as well to me man bitcoin is in accumulation right now and this is the market phase that we are in accumulation and then from here go up that that's all that i see and that's that's the vision that i'm sticking in into and the last thing to say is that you're still in a bump and run pattern which is still respected nonetheless so that's it for today's bitcoin update like this one if you learned something new and i'm gonna see you with the next one i love you.